everybody, it's your pal Ron Howard from Extreme Sequences getting my Pixel Forest on. This is cool. Very, very cool. And so this is my first day working with this. And I have an area of my house, two areas, that I need to uh, cover with it. And it's going to be up there. So I've measured it, uh, if I want to do eight, which I think I will, from the back side to the front, I'll do that and then it's about, it's 16 feet across. I don't have to do the whole section, but I'm probably going to use all of these. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So I'll set this up as a 14 grid. So it's going to be 14 wide by eight and there will be exactly 13 pixels uh, in each of these i think is that right 13 yeah yeah so i will probably run 13 outputs going right to left and gilbert engineering is going to have pixels that work with this uh to give just enough room to get from a here to here because you know you're gonna start on this side you're gonna skip 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 and you're gonna come back down and then you're just gonna go boom over to here so it should be very easy to set up in fact uh, if you want to tear it apart and store it without it being like this uh, you can cut the zip ties and pop it out I will also tell you that this thing even without zip ties is pretty solid when you're lifting it get a buddy to lift it with you and it will go. I'm going to put the whole thing up on the house by myself. Maybe. <laughs> I'm going to see if I can without zip tying it. Because I also want to bring it down and set up these bad boys. These uh, 25 node puppies here. And what's cool about these, and you see you have these braces here. These, if we want, let me just do this. We will be able to... For the yards, if you want less spacing, you could have something here, right? Oh, you're gonna stay? You might. And then you could skip a foot if you want. Let's see if I can do this. Oh, you're gonna fall on me, aren't you? Let me just lean it up here. Actually, you know what? I can just set it in there. Look at that. Cool, cool, cool. So, and then we have braces. So if you don't want to stack them, side by side then you just put this brace in there or you put a brace in here yeah actually the braces are for the blank sections just to keep the integrity of it but i think that's gonna be very cool now we're testing this out uh gilbert engineering may they may thin this out some we're gonna do some testing with it i'm gonna take a blower to it i'm gonna take some softballs some beach balls some buckets Things that have been instrumental in my career as a professional lighter. And just see what kind of uh, torture we can give these things. What I do like about the roof is that there is a pitch. So these are going to be angled to make it easier to see all of them from front to back. Granted, you're always best looking at these from an angle. That's just normal. Same thing with cubes. Looking at them just head on is not the same. So at the angle, you'll get the full effect. So I would imagine something like this is gonna look great in the front yard in this section that was pretty bare. And we didn't have time to get all this done for 2021, but for 2022, it's gonna happen. And that, and that is going to be gnarly. I've always wanted to put something there and I've always thought, you know, I could just put a matrix up there, just a pixel matrix, but I didn't want to do that. I'd be stepping on those. With this, shoot, I can play hopscotch. Oh, gotta hurt my foot. Okay, anyway, so <laughs> if you got big feet like me, maybe not hopscotch, but still, at least you can get around this. You can walk through this if you need to. Um, once I have pixels in it, then we can really test and see what this is going to take. If we look at these these sections here, I mean, I think it's going to take a lot to break these. I really do. I don't think the wind's going to do it. 
But Mother Nature always will have that last word, won't it? Yes, she will. So, let me get finished with this and I'll come back and show you what it looks like on the house without pixels. And then I'll do something in the yard so you can see what it looks like with these, these big boys. Gotta go. See ya. All right, folks. So I am back and I was able to get that up there without zip ties all on my own by sort of sliding it up the ladder and pushing it over and <sighs> yeah, I do recommend don't do that because pieces will want to kind of fall off and in and you don't want to try to reach for it while you've got this. I just was pushing the boundaries. I just wanted to see how it would handle that weight of the coral with me just getting it up on the roof. And I just used this little ladder here and I got it to slide up and then I went up the ladder and <laughs> a guy from uh, Amazon had to make a delivery. He goes, hey, you need some help with that? And he kind of got on this ladder just in case. I said, no, I think it's up there now, we're good. So I will need, that's six, one, two, three, four, that's six uh, going across. And of course, once it's zip tied, that'll tighten up because right now it's just loosey goosey. But still, from an angle, you're gonna get a good idea what that's gonna look like. Because my first concern was, is everything gonna block everything? I don't think so because this, this is not where we watch from. Let me go over to this other side and give you a perspective from a corner angle which in the center of my house, and the only reason I'm not doing that is the sun. Well, we're gonna get it here too. But from across the street, I think, I think that's gonna work out really well. I think the height is, per is perfect. Now, I'm not going to need the eaves behind it. They'll never be seen again. So I can eliminate two eaves in the center part of my house, which is fine. And the typical viewing for my show is in this area. And it's not a steep pitch to the house, but it's steep enough to where you can see through everything. That's kind of cool. And I can't zoom in because I'm using steady shot. So seven more on that side maybe will be plenty. I, want, I need to leave room. <laughs> I need to leave room to be able to get up there. Uh, I did not enjoy stepping through the one inch squares. I was able to go around the back side of it, but I was trying to push some of them down from the moving. And uh, that was not fun tiptoeing on a roof on these tiles. Yeah, Spanish tiles. No, no bueno. So, but these are one inch. I should say, <laughs> these are one foot spacing from left to right and from front to back. So that's perfect for a grid. I think these will look really good too in a lawn area, especially if you have uh, arches or triple arches and you can see through them and get a good lay of the land. Whereas I'm gonna be setting this up here in a few minutes. I'm gonna put these in the yard and see how these look and look at some different angles. Uh, this section over here, that's going to require quite a few more. But with these, with these 13 nodes, no big deal. No big deal. And, and if you also notice, I don't know if you can't see this, there are two holes at the start of the pixel run to the top. Those are for you to use rebar when you put this in the ground in case you're worried about somebody tripping over it the larger ones have this as well and there's more i believe there's four so we have a top section like you would with candy canes and any other model where you're concerned about the weight so putting these in the grass i mean i wouldn't be putting these on top of my house i mean that's just uh that's hey man if you do that right on but this will go in the yard area or the garden if you're in Europe. And then I could just put some rebar just to further keep these from moving anywhere. In case the wind has an idea, you can just further secure it, no big deal. But I'll be testing them without rebar as well to see what they do. All right, I'll come back with that. See you in a bit. Well, that just happened. What do you think? It's a little baby forest, but it's a tall forest. It's just, you know, not a whole bunch, but it looks really cool. Let's go back here to the viewing distance. 
It's about mid yard on the right. I'd add more to that as well. And lovely shot of the trash cans. Thank you very much for that. Gratuitous plug for X lights. You're welcome. And a side view. So again, it's possible uh, Gilbert Engineering may thin out the bottom of these a little bit. I don't know. I don't know if we'll really know if that's necessary until we get lights on there. But the other thing is, the other thing is, you don't have to start at the bottom. You could maybe just start right here. It's about a foot off the ground. It's an idea, especially if you've got low lying stuff. So it gives you the flexibility to put as many in or as few in as you like for your application. I'm on a bit of a slope here. So I put in a rebar to push this first one back. So depending on your application, simple rebar, which is gonna hold this thing like crazy. And for Eric Schultz, I cut that off for you because I know, I know it's, it's a real factor. So I cut that off for you. I would normally never would have, but I did this time. So this is an option you could put on each one. You could also put in a cross section of uh, PVC, something straight, something lightweight, just to keep it uh, completely, completely symmetrical if OCD is your thing. And in this hobby, man, oh man, it is for a lot of people. It is for me in many ways. Sometimes I can look past it, but I, I, know, I know a lot of you folks are like, oh man, it's gotta be perfect, Ron. I get it, I get it. So I think it's pretty cool. What's gonna be neat about this application is you're gonna have 25 strings that you can purchase. And I've been saying this over a year. If you're not buying 100 counts, 50 counts, or 25 counts, you're missing out. These are exactly 25. So I'll be putting 25 in here and I'll be using the skip method. So these will go down from the bottom, up, over, and there's gonna be a pigtail here and a pigtail to the next one, boom. The beautiful thing about that is it'll be easy if you want to store this. I mean, you could just hang this thing up, literally. You could just hang it up on the wall, stack it, you're done. But if you wanna take it apart, undo the pigtails, pull them out, lie them flat. That's totally up to you. You have many choices with this. I think it's going to be very, very, very cool. And my biggest concern was, is it going to block anything from across the road? I may have to move my singing vases somewhere else. I don't know. Probably. <laughs> I have room for them somewhere. I'll put them somewhere. But uh, yeah, that's cool. That's very, very cool. Or maybe I'll put it on the right side of my yard. I just haven't decided yet. I, when I sequence, it'll be with what I have up there and probably over there. Uh, this may come later. I mean, they're gonna have very similar things anyway. I'm not expecting people to go out and create a bunch of pixel for us just because I'm gonna add some of that to my sequencing. Again, it's like, you know, seasoning your dinner. I am not gonna saturate the heck out of the sequences with this just because they're there. It needs to tell a story. It needs to be part of the show. But that I am really looking forward to. That is gonna be cool. And now I have to bring it down or not. <laughs> All right, I gotta go. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope uh, this excites you like it does me. Uh, I know they're already available on Gilbert Engineering USA website. Um, yeah, so go check it out. Gotta run, see ya.